Good day and welcome back to my channel. And uh, today I am going to be we are going to be updating the firmware on the DJI Spark. Now, if you own a DJI Spark, over the last few weeks, you may have been getting a message on your phone when you start up your DJI Go application that uh, update is required and that after the 2nd of uh, September, your DJI Spark will no longer fly or take off. And uh, I actually tested it, and it is so. I purposefully did not update my firmware until this date because I wanted to see whether that firmware is actually true in that it says it's not going to allow you to take off. So uh, let me show you what happens. We're going to, I'm going to power up my Spark and get the controller ready. Now I'm going to do this via the controller, but it's uh, whether you are using just your phone it is the same message. We start up our DJI Go 4 application and uh, the first thing that the, the Go 4 application does is at the top it starts do, doing a version check and here it will say new firmware is available and it gives you Spark and the version of the new firmware. And uh, let me just enter the device. I'm going to select up my Spark there. We connect to that. Now when we get back here, it's actually going to tell us that update your no-fly zone database to latest version. I'm going to ignore that for now because I want to show you what happens when you try to fly your Spark. Click on go fly. It'll tell you update firmware and update button is available. I'm going to ignore that for now. And at the top you will see it says cannot take off. I am quickly going to put the spark in a safe place. Right, so I've put my uh, spark in a safe spot in the lawn and I'm going to attempt to take off. Now I could have done it here, but uh, obviously always put the spark in a safe place when you're going to take off. We attempt the takeoff, we slide it, and then we get this message which says firmware upgrade is required. If the aircraft motors are locked before update, they will be unlocked after the, after the update success. Download update from DJI Go for home page. So we can cancel that. So there you go. We must update. We do not have a choice. It will not take off without this update. Now the last time I did the update, the firmware update, with the previous update, um, I used the DJI Assistant software on the PC and this time I've decided I'm going to be using my mobile phone and do the update that way. What we need obviously is your Spark charged, full battery, we also need our other batteries if you have extra batteries because they also need to be updated and I will show you how we do that. Your controller if you have a controller and a mobile phone with a fully charged battery. If your battery isn't fully charged, make sure it's charged, or you use an external battery pack as I'm going to be using here because the update may take a while and suck your battery dry. So in my case, I'm going to be using an external battery pack to make sure that I have a fully charged and uh, ready phone. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to exit, the go for application completely. I'm going to switch off my controller and my spark. That can stay one side for now. And here we go. Restart your DJI Go 4 application and uh, wait for the firmware update message to come up. And then you just click on that. Now the remote controller upgrades are going to be the first one. Um, it's going to give you the instructions there. Now, what we are going to do in my case, we are going to download the software first. And it actually stores it locally first so that but when you connect your controller, it will be ready to upload. That way your 
controller doesn't have to be switched on the whole time and waste up its battery. Now, once it's downloaded, we click Start to Update, and it's going to tell you to connect your remote controller and confirm the battery level is over 30%. Now, <clears throat> start it up. In my case, I'm going to suggest <laughs> just make sure it's fully charged, simple. Um, 30%, I'm guessing, is around two lights at least, but uh, I've got four lights switched on there. And then uh, the next thing we need to do is obviously connect to your remote control Wi-Fi. There we go. Now once you've connected to your the Wi-Fi on your remote control, you can click Next. Click to Start Update. And it actually updates your remote control via the Wi-Fi. Now your remote control will start beeping. It's an insistent and it's the whole time it's irritating. Fortunately, it doesn't take that long. It should be pretty quick. The last time I did it, it was... Uh, about a minute or so. There we go. After that long beep, your update is complete and it will actually say there as well. And you should restart your remote control. Click OK. And you can click complete on your phone. Now, switch off your remote control. And you can switch that back on if you like. That's it. Your remote control is updated. Now the next thing we're going to do is to update our spark. Now with the remote control switched on, I'm going to start up my spark and confirm that the battery is fully charged. Also we have to confirm that we are connected to the Wi-Fi on your spark controller again. Now once you've confirmed the connection on your Wi-Fi to your spark controller, we can proceed. Now when this message comes up, data update. Now we can do an update. Now click update now. It tells you with these restrictions we are te technically control the drones to observe <laughs> possibility that it may threaten civil airliners. It's just completely fair. DJI basically covering their backsides. So we click update now. Download error. Um, okay, now the reason it says download error is because I'm connected to my remote control and I do not have a data connection on my phone. So I switch off my remote control. It'll connect to my home Wi-Fi uh, connection which does have an internet connection again let me just get to that connection Wi-Fi connects right Wi-Fi is now connected to my home Wi-Fi network with internet connection and I click update now <coughs> once the download is completed we click on update now and it will want to connect to the craft again we have to start up our remote again and wait for that light right once that light turns green it is now connected to we the spark again and now we have to connect with our phone to the remote control again there we go we are connected to the spark Okay, and we click update now. Now, via the remote control, it's going to update the Spark. This process, fortunately, for this uh, database is not that long. It is a fairly quick process um, of about a minute or so. And there you go. 
Now it tells you the no-fly zone data package updated. And you can click finish there. Now once we've updated those zones and things, the first thing we're going to do is switch off everything. So we switch off the spark. We switch off our remote control. And that's it. And we exit our DJI Go 4 application again. Now that we've done that update, um, I like to shut down everything as we've done now and then start in reverse order. I'm going to start up my Spark first. All right, and once that beeps, I'm going to start up the remote control. Right, and then I just wait for that light to turn green, which tells me that the remote control has connected to the DJI Spark. Okay, and there we go. It's turned green. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's green. Then we start up the DJI Go 4 application again. Now that our application has started up, Click enter device. It's currently connected to my home Wi-Fi. I select the Spark controller. It connects to that. And now we are ready to do the firmware update. It'll tell you new firmware is available. Click that and download now. Now again, it's going to say no network is available true because um, we are connected to the spark controller so we turn off the spark controller because we don't need that right now and I turn off the spark save battery and I am going to change the connection on my phone to my home network in my case it all mine auto connects that's the way it's set up but you may need to manually go and select that Right, once it's connected to my home uh, Wi-Fi network again, I click Next and Download Now. Your devices do not need to be switched on while it's downloading. It's basically just wasting their battery power and you don't want to run on low batteries when you are doing firmware updates. And uh, which is also why I like to use this external battery pack because I know my phone's going to going to stay charged because I don't want a low battery on my phone while it's updating the firmware on my Spark. Right, so we just wait for that update to complete. I'm going to skip it a little forward. Right, it seems all power has gone off, but it seems to restart itself. Okay, <laughs> still showing 98%. The light on the remote control has gone red and then it's green again, so it has reconnected. And there we go, it says, update complete. Please manually restart your craft, your aircraft. Click on OK and we click on complete here. Now, before you click on go fly, we are going to do a restart here. So we switch that off. And we switch it on again. Now we give that a little bit of time. We we'll wait for the green light to appear here again. And we wait for the, the go fly signal gone green there and it says go fly it's going to do a version check it's comparing it to the server and there you go you're ready to fly but that's on your first battery now we switch this one off now the next part only applies if you have multiple batteries i'm going to disconnect this battery leave your remote control and your, your phone connected as they were remove that battery Put in your next battery. 
and we power that one up. Okay. The version checking everything is all done automatically. So you just have to power it up and wait for your green light on your remote control. Give that a second or two. And there we go, green light. And now it's going to tell you inconsistent firmware found. And slide to update. You slide that and it will start updating. But now this update is going to be very quick because it's only updating the battery firmware. It's not updating the entire craft firmware again. Right, and then your spark will switch off and switch on. The light has gone red on my remote control. And once that goes green, the update should be complete. Give that a second or two. Got a green light. And there we go. Update success. And we are ready to fly. However, don't fly. <laughs> Restart. So I'm going to wait for this version check to complete. There we go. Version check is complete. Switch off. And we put in our next battery. No matter how many batteries you have, you have to do it with every single one of your batteries if you have multiple batteries. And there we go. Update success. And that's your entire process. Now, next thing obviously is to go fly. However, before you do that, reboot everything. including your application which you need to restart um, i'm not saying you must do that but it is uh, in my opinion a very good idea to do that now that we've shut down everything the spark the controller and restarted the application on the phone i'm actually going to start up the application on the phone now start up my remote control and start up my spark now all the batteries have been updated, so we should be ready to fly. This is not going to be a flight test, and here we are, ready to fly. And we, okay, I'm just going to put the spark in the garden. Okay, now um, I've put the, the spark out there in the garden, and uh, we are ready to uh, start a little test flight. And uh, I'm just going to do the hover because uh, I don't want to fly the, the urban areas that are reserved for when I go do an actual full test. So all I'm going to do now is a auto takeoff just to see whether it flies and everything is happy and um, do an, uh, uh, an auto land again as well. Right, let's get ready to take off. Slide across. And there you go, there you can see me on the patio. Hello guys, I'm happy with that. It flies. Let's do a landing. landing. And uh, there you go. Everything seems quite happy. I'm happy with that, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> that is how you do a full firmware update, or well, that's how I do a full firmware update using my mobile phone. And uh, if you guys have any problems, unfortunately, I may not be able to assist. I do uh, recommend you refer all problems to DJI support.